Your dad um, never really talked about personal stuff. Like zero. zero. Yeah, it was all it was all like bits and things like yes. that because he wasn't super vulnerable. Speaking of parents and speaking of bullshit, <laughs> uh, two ideas which aren't always mutually exclusive, by the way. I'm talking about today's professional parents, these these obsessive diaper sniffers <laughs> who are over scheduling and over managing their children and robbing them of their childhoods. People need to know my father's human. It's the only reason I shared so much about my life with him on stage and in book form was because I really feel that it is a disservice if we don't make ourselves human. And there was some part of my dad's psychology that that wasn't comfortable for him, you know, but you felt like you knew him. See, that's the trick that my dad had. You felt like you were intimate with him, but you didn't even know he was married or had a kid. No one knew that, right? So it's such an interesting thing. But what what I, the authenticity piece for me and why that word I think is overused, but why I think it's an important piece for all of us is that it makes us all understand that we're all crazy broken, fucked up, doing our best, making the same mistakes over and over again, having really stupid thoughts about how the world works or how we're supposed to be in it. And that the more we let each other see that, the more we share that I've got this crazy idea in my head about how I think I'm supposed to be or how I think the world is, the more we go, oh, God, thank God I'm not the only one who thinks like that. <laughs> like, I sit in my house thinking I'm alone with this. We are not alone, people. And the more we get that, the more that we are all having very human experiences, which means we are confused, we are lost, we are inspired. Some days we feel like God, other days we feel like we're crazy prisoners. Like all of this lives inside of us. And the more we let each other see that and stop just showing up as our roles with each other or our personas, which are all important things too, of course. But the more we do that, I think the better chance we have as a species on this planet. Because right now we're acting like there's only two types of people in the world and that we have nothing in common with each other. And that we, we, you know, we've completely dehumanized each other when in, the reality is we have 99% of ourselves in common. We have these 1% ideas and policies and, and, and perspectives that are not the same. So I think it's a, if I want to survive with my own mental health, I have to share who I am in the world. And part of what I feel is my mission is to give people permission to do that for themselves. If you want to hear the entire conversation I have with George Carlin's daughter, Kelly Carlin, about finding your voice, about fighting fear, about having the courage to step into your own art form, click on the link right over there to hear the whole conversation.